now this is a weather term that tends to turn heads. El Nino, a weather pattern is expected to strengthen just in time for winter. But does this mean Northern California will see the impact? CBS 13's Ashley Nanfrey is getting answers. She's live in Wilton. Hi, Ashley. Hey guys, well, with all the heavy rain that we got last winter, areas in Wilton were not excluded from any flooding, especially that gas station just right behind me there as they saw flooded areas all the way up to the pumps. But as we look at the strong El Nino that's on the way, I looked at what this means for Northern California and where we could see some of that heavy rain again this winter. Literally a 50 50 El Nino years are known for being unpredictable in California with some areas of the state recording more rain than others. But where does Northern California fall as El Nino is set to return this winter? It definitely tilts the odds in the in the favor of a wetter wet winter, especially in Southern California, not so much in Northern California. This year's El Nino is forecast to be on the stronger side with abnormally warm sea surface temperatures in the Pacific Ocean. So we are currently at 1.5 degrees above the norm um, right now and it's forecast to go above two to two and a half over the winter months. Warmer waters create an active jet stream over the southern U.S., leading to higher chances of cool and wet weather in the southwest and warmer and drier weather in the northwest during the winter. But as climate data shows, no El Nino is the same. We've had seven strong El Ninos, and they have literally been across the board as far as precipitation across the state. Um, we've had below average winners, we've had average winners, and we've had above average. And the strength of them does not mean bigger impacts. Recent memory of the last strong El Nino, and, and we had 96, 97, which sticks in a lot of folks' minds. But actually, we had the strongest El Nino on record uh, just a couple years ago, and we had an average winter. Of course, this past winter stands out for many with record rain and snowfall, but winter of 2022 was not in an El Nino or La Nina season. It just depends on the right weather patterns. We get atmospheric rivers every year. Doesn't have to be an El Nino or La Nina. Yet the preparation for an El Nino winter, like every winter, is still the same. We always tell folks every winter you need to be prepared in California for the winter weather and, of course, the flooding down here in the valley. California is just storm by storm dependent. And I was looking at the Climate Prediction Center's winter outlooks for this upcoming winter, and you can definitely see the El Nino pattern kicking in. It does show above average rainfall right now forecasted to be just south of the Central Valley, but those up to the north, well, going to be uh, equal chances of seeing above average or right around average rainfall that we normally see in winter. Of course, make sure to stay with the CBS uh, weather team as we continue to keep you updated on any changes that might happen. Guys? Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, the wind's kicking up where you are. I don't need to be an expert in meteorology to tell you that, but it looks like a nice day out there. Ashley, thank you.